Hello everyone and welcome back uh, after Chinese New Year. Happy New Year. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, we want to just, things have changed a little bit and so we need to just uh, work through this next four weeks together um, and try and get you into a routine, get you doing your work for DT and all your other subjects in some sort of uh, balanced fashion. So to start with, uh, I just want to explain to you what we want to do this week and, and sort of get caught up and make sure we're all doing the same thing. Uh, we've made our uh, brainstorm, so you can just go back and check that you've got that sheet made properly. I also gave you some time to fill in what the explaining and justifying the problem and getting some text in there. Um, so you should have this sheet uh, basically done. And I'd like you now to just spend some time and go back to this sheet and make sure you've looked and at, you've got some research questions listed down and you've also got some sources and strategies uh, made there. Uh, this is a standard sort of um, information literacy sort of knowledge plan about where we're going to get the knowledge and we're going to be looking at materials, we're going to be looking at our target audience, we're going to be looking at how we're going to manufacture this. So maybe the manufacturing you won't be able to put a lot in until I explain a little bit more about that to you, but let's try and get as much of that sheet done as we can. We had been investigating uh, wood and we were working on a sheet about wood so we did our little experiment and we were discussing about plywood, about pine wood um, and if you can put in some other bits and pieces about wood that would be a good idea. The other thing that we were working on is old growth forests and plantation forests and a little definition for them and we're starting to make some comments on here a little bit about uh, how valuable either one of them is and what maybe is controversial about uh, either as a source of um, timber that we might use up in our environment for products. So the task for this week is to finish off uh, that investigation and get those things done in front of you there and then I really want you next to find now three wooden puzzles uh, we're going to look at a product uh, and look at another product and see if we can what we can learn from that product and to, to bring the good things into our product. So find three wooden puzzles online, put their pictures down like this, and then go through this table in terms of explaining the function of it, the aesthetics of it, the pros and cons maybe, and then where the inspiration from that came. You know, our inspiration is coming from the sustainable goals. Uh, try and figure out if you can understand where the just you know where the inspiration for these puzzles have come from. Uh, now I'll be checking this uh, that you've done up to that slide and done that uh, set of work, the set of activities, and completed this inquiry sort of up to this stage, including this similar products uh, investigation. And I'll check that on Sunday night. So you've got the rest of this week to get that done. And then uh, by the end of this week, I'll also give you another video like this that will help you get going uh, on the next stage. Okay, have fun, get into a routine and uh, welcome back again. And uh, let's make sure we work hard and not um, waste this time because this is uh, another opportunity for us, even though it's difficult to stay motivated, it's an opportunity for us to show some self-control and to make ourselves uh, do some good work. Okay, thank you. Bye.